Well, I've got an amazing thing I'm going to do for you. First of all, I have a needle. It's a needle that's got a pretty big hole in it like this. And I'm going to do something amazing with this needle. I have a camel. Do you think I can take this camel and put it through this hole in the needle? Let's see. All right, here it comes. Well, that's not going to work. Let's try. Maybe if I start with the ear. No, that's... Ah, I'm having trouble. The foot, it's, it's, it's not going. Um, maybe if I start with the tail. Does it have a tail? No, it doesn't. There is the tail. Oh, I know. Ah. It's, it's not working. I cannot get this camel through this eye of this needle. Oh, it's frustrating. Did you know there's a Bible story that talks about putting a camel through the eye of a needle? Yes, and it says here in Luke how difficult it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God, for it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. We, we look at this, we know this is like, we can't do it. We can't, it's impossible. And Luke goes on to tell us, for you, it's impossible. But for God, nothing is impossible. It's the same with eternal life. We can't do enough work. We can't make it fit. We can't be good enough or brave enough or strong enough or rich enough to get through this eye of the needle by ourselves. And Jesus turns it around and says, I know you can't, but I can. I can remove the barrier that stops you from entering the kingdom of God. And Jesus did remove that barrier when he died on the cross and he rose again from the dead, he took away that needle. So we trust Jesus to have eternal life. Will you say a prayer with me? Dear Jesus, please help me to turn to you when things are good, when things are difficult, because only you have the way to eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.